Hi everybody and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you and if you're a new subscriber, I also welcome you too. So today I am going to be doing a review on this Bear Essentials buck saw and this is a takedown one. But what I must say first is that this has been bought with my own money so it's my own review and then my own remarks. This is just what I found with it. Like all the products that I review, they are not biased. They are just what I think personally. So take it with a pinch of salt or go out there and review it yourself. So with that said, let's get on and review this saw. So if you're new to buck saws, these really are a genius idea. They save a lot of room in respect of if you've got the big bow saw, the bow saw you have to put on the outside of your rucksack or you'd have to chuck it in a canoe. You'd have to obviously a, a um, cover on the blade, which is a little bit worry. These are quite ingenious. These hide away the blade inside there, which is quite a good idea I've shown you a sec. So you get these two bits and how you put it together is quite straightforward. So what we do is we pull out this. This actually is the tightening wooden pad um, paddle at the top. With that out, it just literally comes apart like so. In the distance there, you can hear a traction engine going, an old steam engine. There's obviously going something going on out and about in the fields, but we'll try and ignore that. So we put the uh, bear, so he's the right way up, i.e. facing down that way. That slip goes into a hole, and that there sits into another hole there, which obviously locks it all up. Pull that in tight. See, and then all we do then is tighten the paddle up. And what we're doing initially here is that as we're tightening this up, it's pulling that out slightly to tighten the blade up. So that's all there is to it simple so this is made of mahogany it weighs in at about 500 grams it has a 21 inch blade with approximately 51 teeth which that makes it a good all-rounder they are offset teeth which is good so it's good mostly for dry wood really um, you've got the paddle obviously you've got the paracord on there that tightens it up, it goes through those two holes, you've got these leather little um, stays I guess on the end what you would call them, don't know what you call them. Um, you've got quite an ingenious, these little brass screws there that hold the blade in and I know they sell spares for these if you ever lose anything, obviously you can get them um, from their website as spares. Okay let's go and see what it's like when we cut with it.
So as you can see that this saw performed really well. It cut through the wood at different sizes, really easy. I mean, that's what you want in a good saw. Comfortable to hold. Um, in the cold weather, it'd be quite good because it's wood, not metal. So that'd be a lot easier on your hands, which is a big bonus if you're trying to stay warm and save calories. Um, but that's, let's not forget that this is a nearly a 200 Canadian dollar saw. That puts it in my books high end. When you can, when you put it against a Bako saw, bow saw, which you can pick up for 15 quid in the UK, I should imagine that's 30 dollars in Canada. So you've got to look at the comparison. This is a high end saw. It does cost a lot of money. Obviously, you're paying for the craftsmanship. Um, but when you look at the craftsmanship, it really does fall down in a several areas, and I sh and I tell you the the um, what which I am disappointed with. I'm disappointed with this area here. It looks like it was cut, and then the piece from it was ripped, and it's ripped the wood there. That could have been finished a lot better than it is there. Um, when you look down the saw, it's not true. Okay, I do realize that there's forces in play here, um, but when you look down it, it, it's just not level, okay? Um, I expected that to be a lot more level than it is, so it is a little bit out. Not too much to worry about, but I'm looking at it from a high-end saw, okay? High-end saw, we've got to stay focused on the quality and what you're paying for. Let's face it, we're all earning this money here. We all go out to work, we are paying it out of our own pocket, okay? So something that as high end as this should be good right so two little niggles okay that's not gonna stop me from using it i am still gonna use it um obviously because it's my own money i bought it with um the only other thing that would worry me is this lever here i think in time will crack along there um you'd probably be better off putting some oil on there to keep it supple because um, obviously it will split. The only other niggle that I have with it is that it didn't come with a case, any sort of case, right? I mean, I don't know about you, for that sort of dosh, and I know I keep on about the price, price is a massive factor here. I would have loved to have put this in a case, even if it was just an old um, nylon case or a um, cotton case, a canvas case, it doesn't matter. I'd love to have put that in a case put it in my bag in it so you know that was a little bit of a disappointment for me okay no biggie we can always live with that bloody steam engine okay so um, that's probably been my only gripes with it okay most of the stuff on here apart from that his is really well done I like the way that they've um, put their logo on there on both sides that helps with the uh, putting it what way it's supposed to orientate itself obviously um, so really there isn't really much more to say about that so with that I will take it down so you'll see how easy it comes apart which is really simple And that there just locks back in through the back there. Like so. See what you mean? If I had that case, I could put that in. Bosh, done. Okay, in a file. Okay, where is it? Okay, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Okay, to some people there who's watching, you may go, well, big deal, so what? Um, but yeah, I, w I was disappointed, I must admit. The finishing on the top. Again, could be pretty good. So, I mean, that is my opinion on it. Over thoughts. Yes, great, great saw, but attention to detail is everything, right? And I probably, I'm very aware that um, the guys that are making it go, oh, it's the one off and they're all handmade and they're all individual and they're all gonna have their little quirky thing. No, no, $200 perfect it's got to be right it's got to be right okay i'm not going to go on about it anymore 
so that is it so don't beat me up on that everybody um am i recommending this i am recommending it i do recommend it i think it's a good saw i think um anybody that's looking for a buck saw you know it is money invested okay okay so what more could i say about it so with that said get out there do some bushcraft and i will see you on the next one um take care everybody catch y'all later adios amigos Thank you.